Coach Simon Riddy off a tough one nothing loss to Northeastern today. Uh, your assessment of today's game? It was a typical CAA game. Two good teams going at it. A little bit scrappy at times. Physical. And uh, give credit to Northeastern. They capitalised on their half chance and, and were combative. And I think at times we should have been a little bit more combative back, but we, we didn't. And uh, you've got to give credit to Northeastern for taking the chances. How do you think Hofstra reacted following the goal that was given up early on in the match? Well, we had a, a really good chance immediately after. And uh, again, flipped that and their chance was a half chance, which we didn't deal well with. Our defenders should have dealt with that, we didn't. And then on the other side of it, their defenders did enough to get a deflection off the shot and so forth. You know, it, that's the game, it's a game of inches and sometimes you, you fall on the bad side of it and sometimes you're on the good side of it and it was a good game, do, that, do I think we deserve to lose? Probably not. Do I, do, do I think we did enough to win? Probably not. And that, that's the reality of it all. And, uh, it's a good CAA game, I'm hoping that we get to see them again. Uh, but we've got, to, we've got to battle down now and uh, focus on Sunday's game and uh, get back in the playoff race. Now down a goal into halftime. What do you tell your team in the locker room to get them fired back up into the second half? Yeah, I thought we did all right the first half. I thought it was as good as a game as what we can do. We could could have maybe set up the ball a little bit better. I think we could have attacked the wide areas a little bit better. And I thought we did that in the second half. Um, you know, this again to me, it was about quality in the final third in the end. Uh, we, we created enough positional chances we were in enough good areas to create opportunities and get a goal and we didn't today uh, we weren't clinical enough we didn't believe that we could get across people enough we hesitated and reacted rather than anticipated and again North Eastern is a very good team and they're a physically good team tough team and we have to we have to battle through those little individual battles and I thought we didn't today you elected to bring Jenna Borison back out for the second half. What did you see in her game? She was good again. You know, uh, I thought she had a bit of nerves in the first 10-15 first minutes. But she grew into the game and uh, you know, she, she was solid. You know, she, she dictated to play when the ball was back to her. She didn't really have much to do in that second half. Uh, but with what she did after the rule, she had to deal with through balls and she did that very well. So, you know, very, very good performance. Uh, no Kristen Desmond this year. Who, who do you guys look for down the stretch in close games like this? Again, Kristen Desmond was tailor made for this game today. Um, you know, her effort and energy and physicality would have been perfect today. You don't have that, do you? Um, you know, and we, we're a young team now. We've got a lot of sophomores and freshmen, and that's when these games, you know, you, you expect a little bit of seniority up top to, to make a difference. Uh, I thought Jem put in a, a good shift. I thought she was a little bit unfortunate with a couple of chances. Uh, Sabrina Bryan again, she, she had the one chance late in the 10 minutes to go where a better touch and she's in she's in on goal. And she probably could have fallen down because she didn't get tripped a little bit, but she stood on her feet a little bit too honest. Uh, you know, we expect Porter and, and Mary Taylor to do a little bit of brilliance and they grew into the game. Again, you know, it, it, we talk about it, it's going to be come down to crucial situations. We had six corner kicks, they had one cleared off the line from a corner kick. Uh, we had good, good headers on corner kicks and it just wasn't meant to be today. You mentioned uh, Mary Taylor, only a freshman. What can you say about her play? Yeah. She's an exceptional player. and She's going to be extremely important to our program for the next four years. She can play multiple positions. She's quick, she's strong, she's technically very gifted, intelligent with the way she plays. And I think the future is very good. Um, obviously we're losing Kelly and Maddie next year. That'll be a huge, a huge hole to replace. But the rest of the squad's gonna be back and I think we'll we'll be competitive for, for quite a while now. Looking forward to like the next game, the calm. What do you think you guys need to work on as a team to play? Well, again, well, I'm a Mary, I don't put any power. We knew this week was going to be a tough week, but we're at home. Uh, we lick his wounds tonight, we recover, and we, we focus on Willem and Mary tomorrow. Uh, we have to 
deal with a couple of special players and hopefully hopefully enforce our style on them and and get get the same number of chances today. You know, we we got 20 shots. That's a, a lot of shots for offshore. We don't usually get 20 shots, we had 20 shots. It's just a matter of can we put them away. And that's what we'll be focusing on in the next two days. A little bit extra focus, a little bit quality in the final third, which we, we lacked a little bit today. Thanks coach. Thanks coach.